I've already received word that you accomplished just what I asked. Good. And what did you ask Alexios to do for you, Persephone? Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this. You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me. I'm sorry. You would never understand the intricacies of a divine creation like Lethe's water. But I won't forget what part you played here. Persephone, I, I was only trying to... I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I've told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lethe's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves, with or without Persephone's permission. I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone, away from your mindless chatter. You've had your alone time. Tell me what's next. You're keeping up. Good. 
There's one more place we must weaken Persephone before our time together draws to a close. Her most devoted followers are gathering in a villa near Persephone's embrace. These are the most vile humans in Elysium that serve her every whim and dark desire. Are they under her possession? You might say they're more obsessed than possessed. But if you're thinking you can save these humans, you're sorely mistaken. Persephone's hold on them is too strong. Until now, you've been helping humans, not hurting them. I'm helping people who help us, and hurting people who stand in our way. Try to stay with me, won't you? So what do you have in mind for Persephone's followers? Poison in their wine should do the trick. Unfortunately, the wolf nearby ate the last of my aconite. You'll need to hunt it and extract the poison from its liver. This symposium shouldn't be too difficult to infiltrate. But once you're there, try to blend in with the other Persephone-obsessed humans. I'll find the poison and infiltrate the symposium. Don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to leave once the humans start drinking. Good luck. Here it is. That's the poison. Now I've got a symposium to attend.
A fresh face. Is this your first time at a devoted follower symposium? Ah, uh, yes. Don't look so nervous, friend. Why don't you go meet some people, and then we will toast to our new arrivals? Oh, if you're at a loss for words, let other members know whether you think Adonis or Hermes is Persephone's soulmate. We debate that for hours here. Tell me, stranger, who do you think Persephone's soulmate is? The god or the human? Hermes. He clearly adores Persephone. Thank the gods! Someone here with some sense. Hermes doesn't get his due. He would follow Persephone to the end of the underworld. Persephone sent Adonis the most beautiful bond after he destroyed it and murdered her Enjoying the symposium? So what do Persephone's devoted followers do? For fun? Oh, we discuss the latest events in Persephone's life, plan symposiums, organize monuments in Persephone's honor. I should be going. A loco ton tamala. Make sure you introduce yourself to everyone. We're all excited to have you. Settle an argument, friend. We just got word that Persephone is expanding her palace. Should she build into the east or west of Elysium? I think she should expand west. Thank you! If she wants a view of all the Minoan architecture, she must add a wing in the west. Did you hear that Persephone refused Hades an invitation to her upcoming divine symposium? Having a good time. How exclusive is this group? Not at all. We welcome new faces with open arms. Anyone who's willing to discuss Persephone all day long can join. Enjoy the party. I know they're old rumors, but what do you think of the whispers that Hecate seeks to steal Persephone's throne for herself? Anyone who can't see that Hecate is trying to rule Elysium herself is blind. Persephone? Blind? How can you say such a thing? She has molded Elysium into paradise. 
She's a visionary. I'm ready for the toast. You know, everyone is saying what a great conversationalist you are. So knowledgeable about Persephone. You'll be a perfect fit here. These people really don't seem as corrupt as Hecate made them out to be. Everyone gather to toast our new members. Wait, the wine was... Uh, well, I poisoned it. After we welcomed you so warmly, you're no friend. Guards! The symposium wasn't at all what I expected. Why do I get the feeling I've been played?
don't know. Fire! Out! Out, damn flames! Out! Come on, come on. Try to stay out of sight. You surprise me. When we first met, I was positive you were sent by Persephone to... To what? Seduce me. Confuse me. Anything to make me forget my love. But when I asked you to weaken Persephone's influence, you did. I asked you to bring me warriors, and here they are. And all I had to do was risk my life for you to trust me. 
No one in Elysium is who they say. So when the clever warrior shows up to help me escape, you'll have to excuse me if I'm skeptical. <clears throat> Time to find more warriors. Scout spotted one nearby. Was a Spartan hero in his former life. He's not under Persephone's influence, but keeps mostly to himself. With a champion like him on our side, we can't fail. How will I know when I find him? From what I'm told, you can't miss him.